Okay everyone, welcome back to another Bee Mother review. And today we've got from XM Studios, this is Carnage. Of course, he is the um, deranged serial killer Cletus Cassidy who has bonded with the offspring of the Venom symbiote. Uh, and during a jailbreak, um, he bonds with the symbiote and then proceeds to go immediately on a murderous rampage across New York. And of course, the only way he can be stopped is by the combined might of Spider-Man and Venom. It was sort of a unprecedented team-up at the time, Spider-Man and Venom together. Uh, so he's a very 90s character. He came out way back in uh, 1992. This says April 1992, so almost 26 years ago exactly. This is Amazing Spider-Man 361, so that's the first full appearance there. And I... Um, you know, it's kind of funny, this statue. He, it um, kind of like the Carnage symbiote itself, it's caused a lot of people to go insane. Like, like right out of their minds for this statue, and not in a good way. It's brought, kind of brought out, you know, the worst in this hobby, the, the part that, that just gets old really fast, and people fighting, you know, my Carnage is better than your Carnage kind of stuff. And, you know, I, I don't like that kind of stuff, but, you know, Certain characters cause people to become really, really passionate real quick. And Carnage is one. Another one is Venom. Magneto is another one that does this to people. So, and, and there's more out there too uh, across other licenses. But those are the three that I notice the most. So, XM Studios Carnage. We'll get in the review and see does this statue deserve the hate that it's getting, or is it really not as bad as people think? So, let's get into the review. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about the sculpt and design on this statue. And you'll notice I've switched up the arms on the pose. The statue comes with several different display options for you, and we'll go through all of them throughout the video. Um, but anyways, Carnage. You, you heard me mention the murderous rampage uh, off the top of the video here, and that, of course, was the Maximum Carnage storyline from the early 90s, uh, which spawned one of the greatest video games of all time, Maximum Carnage for the Sega Genesis. I it came also also came out for Super Nintendo, but I was a Sega guy as a kid, and I loved this game. I I, I don't know if I'm correct in saying this, but it might have been the first time you could actually play as Venom in a video game, which made it awesome. I used to go and rent it all the time. So not only could you play as Venom in the game, it also had a red cartridge, uh, which was really unique back in the day. I mean. You know, life was simpler back then, right? So, uh, and the reason I bring up this game is because when I first saw this statue, you know, the renders, and then once it was printed and painted, it reminded me so much of the Maximum Carnage cover. And of course, I loved the game as a kid. Uh, putting them side by side now, it's maybe not quite as close as I remember, but nostalgia is a very powerful feeling. So, um, this reminded me of that game, and that's why I kind of like the statue off the top. Um, so sculpt-wise, this piece was sculpted by Caleb Nefson. Uh, he's done a lot of really cool stuff for XM Studios. He's done Carnage. He's done Scorpion, Moon Knight, uh, two of my favorite pieces from the Singapore Comic Con last year. I think he also did She Thor. And for Figurama collectors, he's uh, he's did uh, the at Devil Man versus Amon uh, upcoming diorama from them. So. Very talented guy, done a lot of really cool stuff, and I think he's done a nice job here. Um, you know, the base, the base originally was supposed to have like an ooze kind of flowing up, and it got deleted somewhere along the line. I'm not sure why, but uh, I kind of wish they would have kept it in. I mean, there's a little bit here under his feet. You can see it kind of trailing down behind, under his feet, but it was all up the base, and I kind of wish they'd have kept something of that because the base is kind of plain. It, you know, the, the texture and it, you know the little the architectural designs of it are very nice. You know, it's got this ornamental top piece and, and at the spire and everything, but it's missing a little something. It's kind of flat uh, and lacking a little bit of you know just a little bit extra, right? Carnage himself. Now he, as I mentioned, gets has been really highly criticized and. I don't know why. I, I think this portrait here, there's two other ones that I'll show you throughout, but this one here, I think it looks really, really nice. It's It's got a, a little bit of a classic throwback to it, but it's an updated, more alien-looking uh, classic portrait, I think, and Caleb's done a really nice job here. 
Uh, you got the black face, uh, you know, the big white eyes. It looks, I think it looks good. Uh, the texture of the body is another thing that people haven't quite uh, accepted. Uh, it looks a little different than the other uh, one quarter scale offerings from Sideshow. They've done a little, a little bit differently than this. I think this looks a little bit more organic to me than some of the other pieces out there. Um, it's really, you got to kind of see, it's one of those things that just doesn't photograph properly. It, you, when you see it up front, it's kind of um, these overlapping strands of, of tissue almost that, um, you know, it, it really has some depth to it when you see it in person. And, you know, he's got the black. Um, ooze kind of on, crawling all around the body there and all the tendrils coming off the body you can see on the back there's really no pattern to it they're kind of going on all different directions which again kind of lends a little bit of life to it which is you know fitting for you know the symbiote being a living organism so you know sculpt wise i think it, it's done a nice job the texture I, I i really i can't i don't think i'm quite describing it properly but um, if you see it up close, it really, I think, looks very alien and organic, which I like. The tongue also has, uh, it's almost like the little taste buds um, kind of popping out, like uh, maybe he's hungry for blood or something like that. Um, so uh, the tongue looks really cool too. So nice sculpt. I think, you know, the Carnage himself, the body proportions are good too. That's also important for Carnage. For me, um, he's got to be a little bit skinnier than Venom. Uh, as he's shown in the comics, and they've done that here. Um, so anyways, nice sculpt. The base, you know, could have had a little bit more to it. Uh, but originally there was, but, you yeah, know, I wish they'd have kept it. So sculpt and design-wise, I think, um, you know, pretty nice job from XM. All right, so before we move into paint, you'll notice another of the arm options for this statue. And actually, um, I like this one here. I, originally, when I got this statue, and when I first saw it, I thought I was going to go with the two bladed hands, but I kind of like this one here. Um, so this might be my final display when it comes down to it. Um, but anyways, paint, you know, the base, there's really not much to say there. It's kind of a gray. There's a little bit of brown in there too um, for shading, uh, but really just a big gray um, mass of structure. So again, I think that's something that could have been done a little bit better. They could have even just painted some... Now, a friend of mine did a little mock-up where he showed some some black ooze coming up just painted and um, you know that looked pretty good too so it, it, again it could have had a little bit more carnage himself I mean I think the paint is pretty well done on him uh, the red sometimes when you know reds are a little kind of tough it 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 doesn't again photograph really well I find I have always have a tough time with red but um, this guy is, is kind of a two-tone there. Like the, I, I, I alluded to a little bit of depth of the texture and the deeper parts are kind of a darker red and the, the upper parts are a little bit of a lighter red. So it does have that little bit of contrast when you see it in person and I kind of like that. Well, the blacks are, are glossy. They've done a pretty good job of painting those too. I think it would have been pretty tough to do and keep it all nice and clean, but they've done a really uh, pretty nice job of that. Um, the face uh, you, on the eyes and when you look really close at the eyes you're gonna notice that there's some little tiny veins in there around the edge of the eyes some slight shading around the eyes too and a bit of a brighter white middle kind of gives them a little bit of depth too so nice job on the paint overall uh, there's really not much else to say I like the the two-tone red and uh, the blacks nice and glossy and pops off the top, off the red there and but the base could have been a little bit better all right so production and build quality uh, i'm not going to take this whole statue apart and assemble it for you it just would be too time consuming with all these tendrils um, so I've, I've partially disassembled it for you uh, before we get into it i'm going to mention the guide the assembly guide that it comes with and you're definitely going to want to consult this because it's got all the different tendrils shows you where they go they are color coded uh, you'll notice as you put it together, each, each the underside of each one is a certain color and it goes into the same color on the body. Uh, but you're definitely going to want to look at this. And, and, and definitely when you go to pack it back up because they're, you know, each one is numbered and it's got a particular slot there because you're probably going to forget where they go. So, 
Let's get into this here. Carnage himself, he just fits onto the base uh, with a pig. Um, and so pretty straightforward there. This piece here at the top of the spire is a separate piece as well. Uh, pretty strong magnet there as you can see. And you just pop it into place like so. And then you've got three different porches to choose from. I uh, showed you, of course, the sort of classic inspired portrait. This one this is definitely my favorite of the three. Um, and then we've got this one here, which is a bit more of a, a unique take on it. He's got the big tongue coming out. And the tongue does look kind of neat, but I, I'll be honest, I don't really care for this one. I don't, I don't get that carnage feel when I look at this. Um, so, you know, nice to have options, but this one here is not, uh, not one of my favorites. Um, and then you've got sort of the mid-transformation Cletus Cassidy head too. So this is, this one's actually pretty neat. Um, I'd, I'd never thought much of it until I had it in hand, but it is much nicer looking than I thought. Um, he does look, you know, kind of wild and crazy, which is perfect for, for carnage. So we'll, we'll pop that into place here on the body and so you can see there it just fits in with a magnet and you know they've done a pretty nice job of hiding the seam they've kind of always have like a bit of a part of the black on the costume around the seams and it does a really nice job of hiding them so uh, for arm options you get several um, so for the uh, left arm I'll show you this one here um, this is one you want to be careful with uh, putting it on because I'll show you once it's on um, you, once you pop it into place like that this finger is really close to the base and in fact I think uh, on a friend of mine's you know the body position is slightly different I mean, each statue varies a little bit and this finger is actually touching the base so be careful that you don't snap that finger off when you put it on um, so that's what, one of the options for the left hand. You saw the blade hand for, for the left side as well. It's this, this one here. I really like these blade options. They look, um, again, kind of alien, but still very dangerous looking. Uh, one thing I'll note about some of the tendrils. Uh, most of them go in fairly easily. Um, and as I mentioned, they're color coded there and they go in with metal pegs. Uh, most of them go in fairly easily. Some of them need a little bit of convincing and some of them are a little bit loose. So uh, this one here on the bottom, for example, of this arm on mine was was fairly loose. And what I did was I added a little bit of uh, sticky tack to the bottom. Uh, you know, that stuff you hang use for hanging posters and just a tiny dab of it and it, it's pretty secure on there actually. So that worked for me. It might work for you if you have any loose tendrils on the body. So for the right side we've got actually three options so you've got another blade hand for the right side there. Uh, you've got the one I showed you last segment uh, you know kind of just the 90 degree uh, elbow bend with the regular hand and the last one you've got here is kind of the needle point fingers so the one I, what I like about this one that for some reason this tendril coming off the forearm just looks really cool to me so I kind of like this one too um, so well, I'll show you how that goes on and it's all magnet fit very strong magnets and that pops into place and again you're gonna want to watch that thumb because it comes fairly close to the base there so overall the quality of this piece is pretty good you know some of the tendrils I mentioned are a little bit loose so you may have to do some a little bit of adjustment there. Um, there is one here in the upper shoulder um, that seems to go in two different ways. You can put it in like I've got it, so going off to his left, or you can flip it around 180 and have it coming down around to his right. Um, but the, otherwise, the rest of them fit in kind of only one way. But anyways, I you know the parts all fit very nice. It's got a pretty good weight to it. It's not really overly heavy, so it's easier to move around it's easy to display in that sense um, it does come with an art print and I chose to go with the tongue portrait um, again not my favorite so it's not my favorite art print either uh, but it is still pretty nice 
Um, overall, production quality on this guy is pretty good, but you know, a little bit of tweaking may be required with the tendrils. So, pretty good job from XM. All right, so we're going to wrap up this review of the XM Studios Carnage. Now, overall, I think it's a nice quality piece. I mean, I mentioned you know the sculpt has this um, you know layered texturing to it that gives it some nice depth when you see it in person. The paint has a little bit of contrast with the two-tone red. I like the you know the craziness of the tendrils. You know, makes it look kind of alive to me. I like the glossy black and how it pops on the statue. Uh, you got two pretty nice portraits. The classic portrait I really quite like. This one I think is better than I expected. Uh, the one with the tongue, you know, not so great. I don't like that one as much. But, um, you know, the base, you know, overall is pretty nice, but could have been done better with some, some added, you know, color or texture or paint. Um, something, you know, they, it, as I said, there was originally supposed to be some ooze. Um, and I wish they would have kept that element in there, but overall pretty nice carnage. Now, is it the greatest statue I've ever seen? No, it's not. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, you got to watch the fingers as you're putting it on. You get some loose tendrils here um, that you're going to have to um, you know, use some creativity to, to hold into place. Uh, but overall, nice quality piece. Now, you know, I have most of the Spider-Man villains from XM Studios, as you can see in the back here. I've got Lizard, Vulture, Venom, Mysterio, Electro. I've got Sandman as well. I had to box them up to make room for Carnage. Um, so I don't have Kraven, but I have seen him. I don't consider Kingpin a Spider-Man villain. I, he's a Daredevil villain, uh, and you can't convince me otherwise. He's a Daredevil villain. So there's eight, I believe, Spider-Man villains released so far from XM. I would put Carnage probably, you know, five or six on that list if I was going to rank them. I mean, I don't like him as much as, as most of these guys out here. I do like him better than Sandman. I do like him better than Kraven. Uh, so, yeah, five or six on the list for me. Uh, but that doesn't mean he's bad. He's a very worthy um, addition to your collection. Um, I, I, I really like it. Um, in person, I think it's just got a lot more to offer than what you're seeing in a lot of the photos. So, XM Studios Carnage, nice statue from XM. Uh, looking forward to more Spidey villains, uh, Scorpion, Dr. Octopus are on their way probably later this year. So, more from XM, hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review, and we'll talk to you guys soon.